Welcome to my review and possibly thoughts on the new Jesse Gender short film, Identities. Uh, I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to do the thoughts in this video or if I'm going to put it in a separate video. We're going to see. Um, might be talking fast on account of the physical pain. Yeah, uh, let's see. I really, really love this. Uh, if... <clears throat> If you like sci-fi with like, you know, this this sort of like simulation kind of thing and explorations of identity, I really recommend you watch this. Uh, as I'm recording this, there's actually a deal on, you know, if, if you go to the link, I'm going to put it in the description box. If you go to the link specifically for this short film, if you're not already... Um, member of Nebula, which I became in part to, to, to do this. And it's, you know, it's something I've been strongly considering for a long time. Um, but, but yeah, there's like, I think it's like 50% off, uh, you know, for, and, and it's, you know, for the, for the monthly fee. Um, yeah, the, the, um, I guess I should start by, you know, I have been a fan of Jesse Gender, Jesse Earl, who wrote and directed this for for, I guess it's been at least a year by now. Um, you know, I, I don't really, like, comment. I don't do that much. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little too too nervous about, you know, I, I don't do a lot of commenting here on YouTube other than, you know, my, my own comment section. You know, I, I'm fortunate enough that a very significant chunk of the people who comment on my videos are very nice people. Um, let's see, on at least one side. Um, but yeah, the, the, I don't agree with Jessie on absolutely everything she says about, for example, Star Wars, but I am always interested in hearing what she has to say. And yeah, um, this is very clearly her baby. Like there is... You know, if you watch her videos, you'll you'll recognize her voice instantly in the way some of these characters talk. You know, this this kind of quirky, some sometimes snarky, you know, just yeah. Um, and the the it it really does help that some of these lines are in the mouth of Maggie Mae Fish, another YouTuber that I absolutely adore you know, watched everything she did, been following her for a couple of years, and, and yeah, they have a similar vibe, you know, and, yeah, um, the, the, you know, I'm, I'm always down for seeing Maggie act, you know, she, she does a little acting in some of her YouTube videos. Um, yeah, I think... There's, it's limited how much I can say about this without spoiling, but I definitely do want to praise the technical aspects. Um, this was immaculate. Uh, the the cinematography is gorgeous. The, there's this like somewhat. It's not quite like Stanley Kubrick style detached, but sometimes the camera is a bit. You know, at a distance, just gonna make sure if that's anything. Gotcha. Um, and and this, uh, yeah, um, the the yeah, the editing really really captures this sort of liminal space that we spend some of this in. Uh, you know, at, at the very start, we're seeing something that, you know, I don't want to say if it's necessarily. I don't want to get into the exact nature of it, but there's definitely, it, it feels slightly off. It does not feel comfortable. And that's another, that, that segues very nicely into the set design. They did an amazing job on creating this very sterile, detached sort of area that, like, just in addition to being clearly inspired by, you know, something like Cube, a movie that I love, even though I haven't watched in like 10 years, but I'd really love to watch it again. I, I haven't been able to get my hands on a copy. Anyway, um, 
it also just really fits with the themes as it did in in cube and that's another thing this this is one of those movies it's, it's short films that kind of wears its uh, inspirations on its sleeve but without just being like one long series of references you know the the I haven't watched like every single movie made by my fellow nerds on YouTube but you know years ago when they first came out I did watch the Channel Awesome anniversary films wow it's been forever since I even said those words the the nostalgia critic Doug Walker movies and you know those I, I realize they're not trying that much for for like artistic value but they're just a bunch of references a lot of the time you know I, I like them when they came out but pretty past the nostalgia critic at this point but yeah you know you you do have this thing of you know there's there's references in this short film to to stuff that jesse clearly loves that we've seen her talk about loving but they don't take over they don't derail like you can you can watch this and those references might go over your head and you're not going to be sitting there going like what no but i now i feel left out kind of thing you know the the kind of you know there's a little bit of a gatekeepy vibe to to some of the yeah again channel awesome anniversary films um let's see yes that i feel like there's more technical right the costuming also fantastic the you know you can tell a lot about some of these characters by what they're they're wearing uh i guess i've already praised the acting but it bears repeating like just everyone's spot on. They really absolutely nail it. Um, I'm act. I'm. I'm not f super familiar with. Um, you know. I yeah. I know. Already mentioned Maggie Mae Fish. You also have Abigail Thorne in there. Really loving seeing her acting. Also been a fan of Philosophy Tube for many many years now. I think I've watched every video she's done as well. You know, loved seeing her show up in Acolyte recently. Um, yeah, the, the, um, and, and, you know, obviously John Delancey, Q, awesome to see him again. Um, I had heard that he was a, a really good guy in, in real life, and this, you know, him, him taking a role in this really does show, like, there's sadly a lot of, of, you know, people in the industry who would not, agree to to a project like this which segues very nicely into i am not here to be like the you know white cishet guy coming in to tell everybody you know this is what it's really like uh, you know i'm just here all for my interpretation i don't personally feel like when the lgbtq plus community make when they're telling their own stories, I don't think they have to make it accessible to us allies and, and especially not to, to people who are, you know, transphobic and homophobic. But I do appreciate that this one, you know, it definitely hits different for sure. This is going to, you know, I've, I've already, I've seen some, you know, who are members of the community talk about how much it meant to them. You know, gonna put some. There's yeah. There's a bunch of links in the, well, a bunch. There's several links in the description box. There's uh, let's see, uh, one article, one Reddit thread, and I'm thinking there's gonna be two video reviews, and um, any spoilers are you know. There's one of the videos. I forget if the other one. There's there's warnings before there's spoilers, in them, um, yeah. You know, it, it definitely hits different, but yeah, this thing of like exploring identity and being forced to conform, that is something that we all can uh, relate to. And again, I'm, I'm absolutely not trying to take it away from the LGBTQ plus community. Um, I think this is also one of those that can really help th those of us not in the community to better understand members of the community. Um, I think that might be more or less, uh, oh, right, right, uh, a couple of the other inspirations, um, 
yeah, there's definitely some some Matrix going on, and and that again, you know, the Matrix they they were not, um, they had not come out at the time, but the Wachowski sisters do, you know, they yeah they are trans women. They made this movie that, you know, yeah, us cishets can also. Yeah, cis people can also get something out of, and you know, yeah, it has special significance for members of the of the community. Um, let's see. The I think that might be everything that I can say. With oh, right, yes. Um, this spends its budget really, really well. Like you can tell, some limited budget, but the money that you know, the money is there on the screen. You know, this is closer to the Lost Pilot. You know, a show I ended up not liking quite as much as I'd hoped. It's where, where every cent is on the screen of the pilot. And, it's, yeah, this is not terribly similar to the pilot of Enterprise, where, like, it's expensive, but, I you know, I watched that episode, and I was thinking, where did the money go? This doesn't look more expensive than just your average episode you know they yeah they did not put their best foot forward on that show i already did videos talking about that show so i'm not gonna derail this one here um but that does i'm doing some not to toot my own horn i feel like these segues are are better than a number of my other videos in some ways, this does feel like a pilot. Um, I would say I was overall satisfied. I'm aware some haven't quite been... You know, it, it doesn't feel like they are trying to... Um, it does feel like an a, a complete story overall. But it is very clear... Like, even if I hadn't heard Jesse say it with her own words, clearly she wants to do more with this and i hope she does i i you know as many people as possible should should see this you know i've i've barely found any negative reviews um let's see right uh i love the diversity on display and i think this is you know this short film serves as a counter argument to you know you'll you'll hear conservatives say ah you know it's just Diversity that just means you're you're taking away jobs from the the straight white cis men who are all, you know automatically more talented, which is preposterous. There's nepotism is way more like mediocre white people have been, you know, especially men have been, you know, have yeah put on a pedestal for way too long. Um, but but yeah. There's a lot of creatives, both behind and in front of the camera, who are members of the LGBTQ plus community, and just incredible talent, and they clearly helped shape it into something. I do not believe that this could have been made by cishet people. It, it simply would not, you know, it's it's similar to, like, like what I said about the, the Babadook, and the Nightingale, you know, the two Jennifer Kent movies. I really hope she makes another. Uh, big fan of her as a writer-director. Um, yeah, if someone, you know, in, in those cases, if men had tried to, to make those movies, it wouldn't have ended up anywhere near as, as well. And, you know, to an extent, like, I mean, you could just compare the Nightingale to all the movies of similar, you know, yeah, that were made by men, and often allegedly for men. Um, I think that might be everything that I have for the review itself. So, yeah, um, you gotta check this out. And you know, once once you have Nebula, there's a bunch of other stuff. You know, there's there's videos on there that are not on YouTube, and a number of videos that are on YouTube, but they had to cut some stuff to you know, for YouTube's uh, gu guidelines, I want to say they're called, you know, so, yeah. Um, I th yeah, this is an 8 out of 10 
uh, I'm gonna try to be the glitch I want to see in the world. The, yeah. Um, yeah. Please share the link to the, the to identities itself with anyone that you think would at all like it. You know, it's not, you know, it, it's for, for like a, a streaming service. It's it's very reasonably priced. Um, yeah. <laughs>